Good morning. This morning we're looking at example 5, starting with data, out of section 2.2, modeling revenue, cost, and profit. We're going to start with data for price and cost, find formulas using best fit lines, use those formulas to find formulas for revenue and profit, and then find the break-even points. We start with the data that was given in the problem. When we want best fitting lines, we insert a scatter plot. Now I'm going to want to take the scatter plot and add a trend line. I'd like it to be linear trend line. I'd like to display the equation on the chart. I'd like the second set of data, the cost, the, the price data, to be on a different axis so I can see both curves. I'm going to once again add a trend line. I'll display the equation on the chart. I go to home, pick each of my formulas, bring them up to 12 point to make them easier to read. And now I'd like to have a projected price and a projected cost and fig put those into my table. I'm going to take the formula for cost, I mean for price, paste it in. I need to make it the right format. I get rid of the y equals. I turn x into times a2. That gives me my price, my cost. I'm going to do the same thing for cost, copy, paste in, get rid of the y equals, make this x is times a2. My revenue now is going to be equal to my quantity times my price, and my profit is going to be equal my revenue minus my cost. I take my computed values, copy down and leave a couple of extra rows for me to do my break-even points. I'm seeing the second break-even point. Profit should be a parabola going down. Happens somewhere between 13 and 15. So I'm going to guess 14. And I'm going to just start at the beginning and say one is my place for the first break-even point. I go to my data tab, look at what if analysis, goal seek. I'm going to try and make G7 zero by changing A7. And we find 1.82828 is my break-even point there. I do the same thing with my second candidate break-even point. I'd like G8 to be 0 by changing A8. And I get my second break-even point at 14.145. Thank you.